Today, I want to take a look at another one of my recent lens purchases that I made uh, out of a group of lenses that I bought, actually. But today, what we're looking at is this guy, which is my Fuji Fujinon W 300mm f5.6 lens. Uh, we're going to take this guy out and do some test shots with it, just locally up the canyon. So if that sounds interesting to you, stick around. <laughs> So in this wall is these pebbles that are up on the cracks, kind of like this little like mini shelf. Pretty colorful. They're not overly saturated, but just kind of a variety of different mid-tone colors. So these pebbles were actually in one of the black and white photos I took with a 90 millimeter lens. But this time I went for Fuji Probio 100, so color reversal film. More of a straight on composition too, so it's just not, not a lot of camera movements involved in this one. It's just kind of straight. But with the 300 millimeter lens, that's filling the entire frame with these just these pebbles in this one cracked shell. I think it makes for a pretty cool composition. And at 300 millimeters with this camera, as close as it is to my subject, I'd extend my bellows quite a bit. So I've got my monorail extension out uh, and actually compensated for bellows extension on this one. So about two thirds of stop is what I added, slightly over that. So I rounded my exposure up to the next even second so I could time it with the stopwatch. That gave me a exposure of five seconds at f64. So it's a really flat scene. Uh, it easily fits within the dynamic range of Provia. Uh, but being as flat as it is, I'm really hoping that the color slide film will help kind of pull some contrast out. But, but yeah, first time shooting with the 300 millimeter lens. Uh, I'm stoked to see the results. It's really easy to focus with. Uh, F5.6 aperture, so it's nice and bright on the ground glass. Didn't have any problems with the image circle. It's nice and big. So, I mean, I could move the camera as far as I wanted to, even though this didn't require that. I did use a little bit of front tilt because I've got just a little bit of an overhang on some of this. Uh, so that helped me just pull everything back into focus a little bit. Yeah, stoked to see that. Stoked to see how that turns out. So, so here is my first shot with that 300 millimeter lens. This is actually the same rock wall and the same stones as a image I took with the 90 millimeter Nikon. So it's actually these same stones. It's just shooting straight on and focusing right on this area here. So I didn't have to use any complex movements of the, of the camera. The, I just went straight on and trying to fill the field of view with just these stones here. I did have to rotate the camera just a little bit because I wanted this compositionally to be straight in the frame. However, level to earth was actually kind of tilted a little bit. So I just tilted the camera to kind of straighten it out and make it make more sense. Um, and I think it works. I think Provia did a really good job on this one. I think that uh, the colors are there. I like the saturation of the colors, but it's not overpowering. You know, they're all just kind of different hues of mid-tones. And I think it turned out pretty, pretty well. The exposure looks spot on. This is one that I actually had a little bit of trouble with. I was second guessing myself, so I metered off my gray card for this one to give me some confirmation. Um, and it worked out really well for me. So I think the exposure is just right. Uh, hopefully as I get more experience, I'll you know be able to judge tones a little bit better and I won't need to rely on tricks like that quite so much. Um, but where I'm at right now, um, it yielded a, a good result for me. So I'm, I'm happy with that anyway. Sharpness looks good. Depth of field was no issue with this one as far stop down as I was. So this was quite a bit. This was sticking out quite a bit from the from the from the rock wall. And, you know, it's sharp here and it's sharp all the way in the back. So depth of field was working in my favor there, um, which should be because I was stopped down pretty far on this one. 
I don't see any like issues with the corners, no vignette, nothing like that. The coverage of this lens is massive. It's bigger than the camera. So I'll never run out of image circle on this. And even though this was just a test shot, I was really happy with the composition on it. I think it's kind of the use case that I bought that lens for. The thing that I kind of see myself using it for more frequently than anything else is just trying to zoom in on details and just get all of that just rendered on film, super sharp. Um, and it looks like it did exactly that. So I was really pleased with that. Yeah, it's a big heavy lens, but it's a couple three. So it's being an F5.6, it's super bright on the ground glass, but it does, it, it costs you in weight. Um, but I think it's worth it because this is kind of what I had envisioned using it for. And it worked out really well for that. So yeah, first shot with the 300 millimeter Fuji Fujinon F5.6 300 millimeter lens. I've hiked up one of our local canyons here up by one of the ski resorts, just kind of looking down canyon. Uh, the sun's been setting and I'm using the 300 millimeter lens to pick out a composition just looking down the valley uh, as the sun's lighting up the opposing side of the canyon, kind of where the ski slopes are and the ski lift is. There's actually some structures for the gondola in my photograph, which I don't really mind. I am limited on my framing here because I got some utility poles here with some wires that I'm trying to keep out of the composition, which kind of locks me in in just one kind of specific spot, which is fine with me because it looks beautiful. Use a little bit of front tilt with this one. Uh, as it gets darker here, I'm, I'm metering for my shadows because I've settled on a sheet of Ektar for this one. Uh, dynamic range is pretty high. Slide fill might have been all to handle this, especially with the graduated ND filter in a sky. But I went for Ektar because why not? I had one more sheet that I needed to expose in my holders and uh, kind of curious to see how it handles the scene. And even though it is color negative um, and the dynamic range of Ektar is a little more forgiving, um, I did go ahead and put a one stop graduated ND in just to hold the sky back just a little bit. Because I got some evergreen trees down here in my foreground, they're in complete shade and they are pretty dark. So Ektar probably could have been able to handle the highlights if I just let it push and overexposed just a little bit. Um, but I have my filters on me, so why not use them? Um, and plus, hopefully that'll help it kind of retain its color saturation a little bit and some contrast. My metered exposure on this one was one second at f45. Um, and I just took a single shot with these test shots, trying these new lenses out. It's all about just kind of shooting with them and making sure that you know they function as I expect and the shutters aren't having any major problems. Yeah, single shot, so hopefully I got the exposure correct. Uh, if not, I won't be too tore up about it just because I can come up here pretty easily. So yeah, that's a couple shots for the 300 millimeter. Uh, stoked to see those. Uh, I have a lot of high hopes for this lens, so hopefully everything turns out just fine. Um, it's pretty much a joy to shoot with. It's big and it's heavy. Being an f5.6, um, it's a couple three shutter, so it's pretty big and it's pretty heavy. But uh, it's well worth carrying because so far it's been a lot of fun to shoot with. Uh, really easy to focus. Looks super sharp on the ground glass. We'll see how the exposures turn out. Um, but yeah, that's about all there is to it. I'm pretty excited for that. So, well, now I think I'm going to pack the camera up. Made me think about heading down. Um, it's been a beautiful hike. It's It's been hot in the valley. So up here, standing on a mountain up here, it's been pretty temperate. The breeze is really nice. It's probably 60s up here and super enjoyable just being out in nature. It's always a good time coming out, you know, always a good time being out with the camera. Never regret it. Flowers are beautiful. Yeah, great weather. 
So, exposure looks good. I was happy with that. Lots of detail. All these trees and stuff in here are just nice and sharp. All the way up here in the ridge line. Foreground flowers are pretty sharp, except it'll be sharp anyway. I had applied just the smallest touch of front tilt to try to get the flowers here in the foreground as well as the ridge line in the back and focus. So the plane of focus just skims from these flowers through these trees here in the mid ground, mid to foreground, and then all the way back through here and up across the ridge line. Looks like it uh, worked because I'm pretty happy with that. One thing I hadn't paid a lot of attention to on the ground glass is in the foreground here, there ended up being some cables from that utility pole up here. But I guess really there wasn't a lot I could have done about it. Because moving the camera to try to get rid of that would have kind of broke the composition anyway. But it's a test shot, so I'm okay with that. It's a little bit of a bummer that the sky didn't have a little more clouds in it. I mean, there are some clouds here and there's some streaks of light in here, but they're, they're really faint. Would have been nice to have a little more interest in the sky. But otherwise, yeah, I was pretty happy with it. It was, uh, I was pretty pleased with it once I got it inverted and scanned in. So yeah, one more uh, successful test shot for the 300 millimeter Fujinon W. F5.6. I think that's it for tonight. Sun's down, it's getting a little dark, getting kind of chilly up here too. So I'm packed up and I'm gonna head back down to the car and call it a night. So just wanna say thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and maybe while you're down there, consider subscribing uh, and ring my bell if you wanna be notified when I release new videos. With that, uh, thanks again. I'll catch you in the next one.